Hey, ShoeTube, what's going on, man? Look, we finally did it. We shot the collection video. It's been a long time coming. I've been promising you guys the collection video. I'm exhausted. I didn't know what it was going to take. I didn't know the amount of effort that goes into shooting a, a sneaker YouTube collection video until the past week. And I got to be honest with you. Even though I flew through the shoes, like I maybe talked about a couple of the shoes for a minute or two, but most of them I just pulled out and said what it was, put it back in, kept going. Unfortunately, the video was over three hours long. <laughs> so uh, I didn't realize, first of all, I wasn't gonna put a three hour video out to shoe to, because I know you guys aren't gonna watch three hours worth of shoes uh, at one time. So, and not only that, but when I went to edit it, I, uh, the, the, my movie creator on my phone, what I was shooting on, will not let me put anything out over 90 minutes, which is a good thing because, again, you guys aren't going to watch that long of a video. Now, I have went back and which watched other shoe tube collection videos, and they, they're long. I mean, some of them are an hour long. Some of them have been an hour and a half to two hours long. So you guys do watch that, um, but I'm not going to put nothing out like that. And not only that, but my phone wouldn't even allow me to do it. So... I want to just tell you guys that it all of it's created i'm going to be releasing it in three parts and it's going to be back to back to back day after day uh, so if you're watching this video uh, it's not going to be like i'm going to release one and then a week later release release another it's all shot it's all edited i just had to break it down into three different videos because i could not combine it uh, so for everybody out there, just real quick, for everybody that support the channel, man, much love. I appreciate it. I did this thing. I did this project for you guys. It literally took me hours, man. And for you guys that have done this, that, that have shoe tube channels, I know a couple of you guys are, are friends of mine on here now. I know what you go through. That, that was tough. <laughs> it was fun going through everything. A lot of stuff I didn't even remember I had. So it was cool doing it. But man it, it took a lot and it takes a lot of editing and stuff like that so now i see why people don't do that but like once every two years because yeah it's just quite a bit so without further ado man i hope you guys enjoy it this is going to be part one again i'm releasing them back to back to back if you're new to the channel thank you for subscribing uh please hit that like button and support the videos uh i did put a lot of effort into it i know it's, some of it's going to be choppy uh but hey it's my first time doing a collection video and for those of you guys that may be watching my channel for the first time, if you want to subscribe to the channel and check out the rest of the videos that are going to be after the first one, uh, like I said, I'll be dropping them back to back to back uh, day after day. So just go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn that notification bell on. That way when that new collection video comes out, you'll get the notification and you can veg out, man, and watch, watch some uh, Snicker YouTube. I will say, get some popcorn, get a Coke, a Diet Coke, a cold beer, whatever you like to drink, get you something, because these videos are a little bit long. But with that said, I hope you enjoy it, man. It's Jamin, and I appreciate you guys so much, man. Love you guys. Here we go. Let's ride. Hey, you 2 Welcome to the uh, first episode of the Sneaker Collection. I haven't figured out how I'm going to do this yet, so I don't know if I'm going to do it all in one take or if I'm going to do multiple takes or what. Um, but anyway, let's get started. This right here is what I don't have in the collection behind me. I don't know what's in these boxes anymore. I've had them for a while. This is gonna be just as much of a surprise to you or to me as it is to you. So let's start with this one right here. We got a Nike SB. Let's open it up. What do we got for sneaker number one in the collection? And it is the, oh, this is the New York Mets Dunk, part of the bubblegum pack. So. Uh, yeah, the Mets lost recently. That's the seven train that goes to the stadium and the other sneaker right here Let's get it out and take a look at it real quick The other sneaker actually has the bubble gum on the bottom of it and it has the uh, Got extra laces right there You guys know I'm a Braves fan, but that's got the Met the apple that pops up when they hit a home run But yeah, the Mets got eliminated the Braves got eliminated man. Y'all know I'm a big Braves fan That kind of sucks, but it is what it is uh, You know with baseball the Dodgers got eliminated too. So the Phillies and the Padres. But anyway, sneaker one in the collection is the New York Mets Dunks. All right. Sneaker number two. What do we got in this box? It up. All right. I can already tell this is going to be an Air Force One. But which Air Force One is it? Get this black paper back. And we have the Air Force One Anniversary Edition R Force. O U R, the R Force One. Um, this right here is a super nice shoe, in my opinion. You got that 
alligator skin right there. I like the contrast and stitching on it. You got that 90s inspired tongue, you know, with the colors right there. You got the 90s insole, just overall awesome looking shoe. I picked this guy up, I don't know, maybe a couple of months ago, but yeah, dope shoe, the R Force One. That's a Mia, by the way. So that's that. Let's get into the next one. We're gonna keep it moving along. You guys get down in the comments at any given time. Ooh, boo, stock eggs. Y'all can tell how long I've had this because I don't even deal with them no more. But anyway, let's get into this one. Y'all get down in the comments. Let me know as I'm going through these, which shoes you like, which shoes you don't. This is the Air Presto. You guys see that right there? Dead stock condition. That's why the stock X tag was on because I got these from stock X. I do have a pair of these that I wear every day. These have I've had on ice. I have not worn them yet, as you can see by the tag still being on them. But when I do, I'm gonna rock the stock X tag with them, okay? <laughs> Definitely joking about that. I can't stand when people walk around with a stock X tag on their shoes. But anyway, the Presto, super clean shoe. I like the South Korea colorway. I think it's pretty cool the way they did that. It came out great. And also, very comfortable shoe, the Prestos are. So, that's it, the Air Presto. Next up, we got some Adidas. What do we got in this box here? Let's check this out, Let's see, what, see what that is. What, is, what are these? Did I not even get these? There's some retro looking old man shoes right here, man. Check these out. Did I buy these? How do you think can get in my room? Hey, I'm not hating, man. I'm not discriminating. It's just a pair of shoes. What are these called? Hold on a second. Let me look these guys up right here on this tag. Might have been something I call on special. I was like, oh, that's a UNC color. One of them regret buys. Let's see, this is a ZX-1000C. White, black, and white. I have no idea. I do not even remember <laughs> getting these guys. But uh, yeah, I've got them. And this is a shoe collection video, so there they are. They are dead stock. I don't know the comfort on these guys. I don't even know, like I said, this might have been one of them nights where I had a few beers or something and said, you know what, those look slick and, and, and slick bought them and now I'm regretting it. But uh, there they are, I got them. So. I may just give those guys away to somebody. Next up, we got a Nike. This is one of them Nest shoes, man. So this is gonna be one of them, yeah, one of them low tops. They give you some information on that as well right here. But this is the denim. Back before denim started getting real big. It's almost like a blazer. It's got the outsole and the midsole of a blazer. But then it's got that denim. It's really a skate shoe. Um, you see right there, the Nike on the back and that leather. I like the way it's got that red swoosh right there. That contrast and stitching again. But yeah, that's the Nest Denim. And it did come with a spare set of laces too. You can throw them in there. And I'll tell you what, them laces right there would look great bouncing off that Denim. So that's that one. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. We got a Jordan here. This looks like a Jordan 1 Low. That's going to be my guess. Let's see what it is. Nope. This is my golf, one of my golf shoes, man. So Nike Golf. Which golf shoe is it? Ah, this is the Golf Shadows. I have not worn these on the course yet. You guys who's been following the channel for a while will remember that I designed my own golf shoe. It was the first one that I did a customization on and I've been wearing it on the course, but I do want to get around to wearing these. Uh, the materials on these guys are fire. Check that out. Check that leather out. And the colorway, man, it don't get, it don't get much better than the Shadows. It did come with a spare set of uh, gray laces. If you want to throw those in, but yeah, the Nike Golf Shadow. Right there, full effect. Throw that back in the box. Let's keep it moving, man. Let's keep it moving. Let me put this in here. So warranty or something, I'm, I'm thinking. Let's move up and get this get this guy down here. This is a Nike. What is this? this is the Blazer, Nike Blazer 77. This is a uh, suede, chocolate suede colorway. Dope shoe for a fall. Really like it. Just did a review on these not too long ago. Outlet stores had them for like 60 bucks. So that's that. And then the next one I'm assuming is gonna be the other one that I did in the review. It is a SB, but it is the you call it the hack pack. Yeah, this is that hack pack. So this is in like that uh, obsidian blue and navy where they got the swoosh on the toe. Someone commented, I think it might have been Logan. And forgive me if it wasn't Logan, but someone commented said it gave him the Griffey vibes. Uh, and it does. Now I can't unsee it because it does look like the Griffey's with that with that swoosh on the toe box. But yeah, they basically took the swoosh off of this 
and then move it down to the toe box right there. And they did give you some navy laces right there as well. So don't shoot, another quality find. There they are. The Nike SB Blazer Mid 77 Hack Pack. All right, next up on the list, we have a collab shoe right here. Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy. This is gonna be, get this little cool card right here that comes with it. Talking about the shoe. It's a Star Lord shoe. And there it is, guys. The Adidas Form Star Lord. Hi. Very cool shoe. Comes with that dope keychain right there. Guardians of the Galaxy and Marvel. Adidas. Uh, and then on the side here, it does have that Star Lord branding. This actually was a shoe that he wore in the video game for the PlayStation 5, the Guardians of the Galaxy video game. So, and that's a, that, that was a cool video game, by the way. I really, I'm a big time gamer for those of y'all that don't know that's just joining the channel. I like my shoes and I like my game. Like I got my Switch sitting right there. But um, anyway, Guardians of the Galaxy, Adidas Forum High, Star Wars. Y'all remember at any given time, y'all can hit that like button during this video. Um, it is going to be a long one. But if you're enjoying the content, please do hit that like button and let me know what shoes that I'm showing off that you like. Next shoe. What is this one? Jordan 1. Gotta be. And it is a, yep, this is the Jordan 1. Now this shoe recently came out. A lot of people say it's a brick. Brick builds houses. Y'all know what I mean? I don't care if a shoe is a brick or not. I'm not buying it to resell it. I'm buying it to wear it. Unfortunately, as y'all can tell right now, a lot of my shoes I don't ever get around to wearing because I buy so damn many of them and I don't have many places to go because um, I work from home and I live out in the country. So, you know, I, that still doesn't curb my appetite for buying shoes, man. So this is the Jordan 1 Low Chicago colorway. I think this is a dope colorway. I don't care if it's sitting or not. Uh, that just makes it better for all you guys that want to go out and buy it. So the Jordan 1 Low Chicago. Again, this portion of the video here is going to be all of the shoes that I just have sitting around in boxes. <laughs> Bad, right? Sitting around in boxes that I don't have in my containers. We'll get to that in version two of the video. Next up, we have the Concepts. Now, this one right here was a big hit in my opinion, and I absolutely love this shoe. But this is the special edition box. So it opens up this way. It's got some nice artwork in there. And then here's the Nike box right here that it comes in. And then you get all of this additional bandanas and stickers. If you guys want to know more about all this stuff that you get in this box, go back if you don't mind and check out the video archive. I did a full review on this shoe. Showed off all of the goodies that you get with it with this special edition. And uh, yeah, check it out. But this one here is the Far Out colorway. Get it out here. So here we go. The Far Out. Now you guys do know it comes with that guitar pick. Um, I pulled out the different shoes so it doesn't have it on this one, but it does come with a pink uh, velvet or salmon colored, you know, spare set of laces. Those are dope. But yeah, that's it. This is the Far Out Air Max 1 and Concepts collaboration based on Woodstock. So dope shoe. I'm really happy I was able to hit on the, uh, to hit on the, um, the special edition box. I don't, I don't get too many of the special edition uh, boxes, so I was really excited when I hit on that. Oh, and by the way, guys, sorry if this is kind of herky jerky, so to speak. I am filming with one hand and, uh, you know, moving the boxes around with the other hand, so, I mean, it is what it is. These things are tough to shoot. I, I see what you guys are talking about now, about doing sneaker collection videos. They're, they're definitely not that easy um, to do, not as easy as I thought they would be. All right, getting down to the last couple of the boxes here that we have. This has to be a Jordan 1. Let's open this guy up, and we have in here whew, one of the most, okay, okay. This right here is one of the most underrated Jordan 1s that come out in the past year, in my opinion. The quality on these guys are crazy. The colorway, look at the cut of leather right there. Just look at it. Look at the, I mean, that it, it is a beautiful quality made Jordan one. Everybody said they was turned off by the silver swoosh, but I think all the co-op co JPs or whatever they're called all have that silver swoosh on them, the, the navies as well. But this is the burgundy color right here. And uh, yeah, man, I just think to me, again, 
one of the most slept on Jordan ones in a while. This, this shoe right here is fire, man. I'm sorry, but it comes with a spare set of laces if you don't want the burgundy laces in them. I'm gonna tell you, some, some of these shoes that I'm showing you now too are gonna be double up, so you may see them later on in the video. If so, I won't take that much time on them. But uh, yeah, some of them are definitely, definitely double ups. So next up right here, we have, looks like another Jordan 1. Oh yeah, so this right here, is one of my all-time favorite shoes in my collection. This is, you guys are gonna see a lot of shoes in a little bit that are red, I mean not red, what am I talking about? Orange and black. They're kind of like the quote unquote shattered backboard colorway. And that's because these are my favorite shoes, my favorite colorway. These are known as, as the Starfish One Lows, but also the shattered backboard lows. This is the newer version. I'm going to show you the, o well, it's not really the OG, but the older version of the Shattered Backboards too. They're going for a stupid amount of money. I mean, they're going for like, you know, I think last time I looked, maybe like 300 bucks. But you get the black laces, you get the orange laces, and you get the white laces with these guys. So, love this shoe. That shoe will never come out of the collection. That's the one that I have on ice. Remember I was talking about how I've got some that, that uh, are doubled up on. That's one of them. All right, what do we got here? So this guy here, regular Nike box. I have no clue what's inside of it. Let's open it up and we have, oh, I do know what's inside of this too. <laughs> one of my favorite shoes also. Y'all are gonna find me saying that too a lot. One of my favorite shoes, but this is the Bo Jackson trainer right here in the Auburn colorway. Another thing, you guys that have been subbed to the channel for a while, y'all know I'm a huge Auburn fan, huge Auburn fan. I live not too far from there and i grew up watching auburn football so huge bo jackson fan huge auburn fan must cop to put in the collection and i have been wearing these you guys can see the outsole is kind of dirty there but i've been rocking these guys especially during football season even though auburn's sucking right now um anyway not gonna get into that subject that's a sore one to talk about all right so next up you guys already know what's in this box right here you already know this is the new taxi baby this was another double up that i had had to double up on these guys the materials are fire i'm not gonna spend too much time on this because you guys that that are watching this right now you already know about the taxis they just dropped y'all seen probably a thousand videos on these guys but again shoe collection video got these guys in the collection very happy i was able to secure if this shoe would have dropped last year or in 2020 these would be almost impossible to get. I guarantee you that. Thankful that the resellers aren't buying and, and, and selling like they used to. They're allowing people that like shoes to actually cop them and have them sitting in their collection like me. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling y'all, I buy these shoes to intend to rock them. Now, my other taxis that I've got, that's my spare pair, but my other taxis are being rocked at, at the current moment. This right here is not an Air Force One. I know what these are. Um, this is a pair of used shoes that I bought, but I, I liked it because... I like the colorway of them, man. And uh, that, that was just the box that they came in. But this is a pair of Miz. A lot of people don't rock Miz that much. But this wolf gray and Volt colorway on these Miz are, to me, are fire, dude. I love that color, especially with the Volt laces like that. That's just a shoe you don't really see every day. You don't see too many people uh, rocking this shoe. You don't see too many people rocking Miz, period. But, you know, like I said, uh, I'm all about diversity with shoes. I don't care if it's a mid, if it's a high, if it's a low, if it's an Adidas, if it's a Saucony, if it's a whatever. If I like the colorway of it, I'm, I'm, I'm copping it. So this right here, I don't know the official colorway of this. I'm going to call it Wolf Gray and Volt, but this is a mid and it's dope to me. If you guys get down in the comments, let me know what y'all think about these. Kind of remind me of an old Reebok pump colorway. So next up, we got a pair of AIs right here. This is the questions and the question lows. The UNC toe right here, or the Carolina blue, whatever you want to call it. These guys are icy and the materials on these go crazy, man. Look at these materials. I mean, they go stupid hard. I, you know, I like the honeycomb, the hexalite or whatever. I know my boy Liam Corcoran, or AKA Retro Man Randy Savage, said that you know this is just for looks now, and I totally believe him because the guy knows what he's talking about when it comes to Reebok. But dude, these shoes right here are just nice. I don't have any other questions. I, to be honest with you, I put these on foot one time, and uh, you know they 
they kind of don't look right on my feet. I bought them because I, I like the colorway of them. You know, I'm big time in the UNC blue and blue period. But yeah, they just, I don't know. I, I hadn't bought any more of them just because I was unsure about how they would look. And they just, they make my foot look wide and they make them, I don't know. They, they just, they don't look like I want them to. So haven't copped any more of those. Man, check this out, y'all. These boxes are about to fall off this bed, man. I got to find somewhere else to put them. We only got a few more left, and then we're going to get into the cases. Um, hadn't figured out yet if I'm going to do that in the same video, if I'm going to edit it in. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but you guys figure it out when you're watching this, I guess. So what do we got right here? This is a, oh, y'all already know based off of this right here. This is one of the top contenders for shoes of the year for a lot of people. A lot of people are waiting on this shoe to come out and for good purposes. This is the Fire Red Jordan 3, right here. The return of the Nike Air on the back. The elephant print done right. I mean, just a classic shoe. Another double up right here, that's why it's not, uh, this is DS. Um, but yeah, had to double up on the, on the uh, Fire Red 3. Fire Red is my favorite colorway of Jordan's period. So the Fire Red 4, for you guys watching that are new to the channel or maybe just subscribing to support the channel, hint, hint, if you don't mind, hit that sub button um, if you haven't already. But the Fire Red 4 is my Grail shoe. Now, Grail means a lot to, to all kinds of people, but a Grail to me is something, my definition of it is a shoe that just takes me back. It's, it's a shoe that I have a lot of history with and, uh, you know, just takes me back to why I got into sneakers, period. And that Fire Red, the Fire Red 4 is, is that shoe. For me that does that all right three more guys three more let's see what we got right here okay this right here and i thought that's what this was this is my what i call the atlanta braves trainer because to me this is braves colors it's got that gray that navy blue and that habanero red this goes great with the braves uniform and i did wear this guy to plenty of braves games this year you look at that outsole i mean i sported this guy i think every braves game you know at truest park that i went to I was sporting these guys right here. So these have gotten a lot of wear. You can see that creasing on that toe box. But uh, yeah, my Atlanta Braves trainers, if you will. Um, I do love that shoe and it's gonna get a lot more wear next season. Until next year, chop, chop. All right, two more guys. We got an Adidas 350. I think I know what this is too. This is one that my wife, my wife hit on some exclusive access. She called me from the doctor's office. She was like, uh, she was like, Damon, I got exclusive access to an Adidas Yeezy. Do you want me to get it? I was like, well, what colorway is it? What is it? She said, it's something called a Beluga. <laughs> I was like, heck yeah, I get it. No doubt. So she was able to cop and hit, you know, on a pair of 11 and a half. Uh, this is the reflective Beluga right here. So very dope. And, you know, one of the OG colorways in the 350. I had to get it. She got exclusive access to that. That was a must that she, uh, that we grabbed that. So, all right, last but not least, whatever this guy is sitting down here on the floor, it is a, ah, the Nike, <laughs> you guys may remember this one too. This is the one that I sent to StockX that they damaged my box, UPS or whoever damaged it because when I sent it, it was not damaged, I had proof. And uh, yeah, they sent it back to me saying that they couldn't verify it and charge me 15 bucks. I will tell y'all for those of y'all about that video, after some going back and forth with StockX, they did give me my $15 back. So I will I will state that, that is a fact. But this is the Kentucky Dunk High to round off this portion of the sneaker collection. You guys, it's time to move on to the next round, round two of the sneaker collection, which is in my container store cases right up here. But before we get started again, if you haven't already, please consider hitting the thumbs up on the video. And if you haven't also subscribed to the channel, please help to support the channel. Um, I would definitely be appreciative of it. And with that being said, let's move on. All right, you guys. So real quick before we get into the next part of the video, the uh, what, what's the next one? Part two, the sneaker cases, the container store cases, the ones that I've got put up over here behind me. Before we get into that, just want to quickly say, you all know already for most of y'all what happens every 100 subs that we get on the channel, we give you an, uh, a chance to get into the entry for the 1000 sub giveaway where I will be giving away a pair of, a dead stock pair of Air Jordan 1 highs 
to one of you lucky guys out there that support the channel. I know it's something that I don't have to do, but you guys support me, so I want to give back to y'all. So anyway, just wanted to throw that out there real quick. Now, if you're still with me, and I hope you are, I hope you enjoyed the first part of the video. I believe the first part's going to be the, uh, the boxes that I had. But uh, yeah, part two coming up next. So if you need to refill on your Coca-Cola or you need to get some more popcorn, y'all go ahead and go grab it because we're starting part two right now. Let's do it.